<coughs> right, got another earth fall. Um, clicking, you can hear some electric fence thingy. Uh, but the water leak has got the unit of water. So that's the contact for it. So the first thing we want to do check we've got no power coming in. That's just nothing on there. So that's just showing this. Continuity. It's off on that switch. Next thing you want to do is see if you've actually got a short. So, Short on there. And that was across the line in neutral, going down to the unit, which uh, just will run off on that piece of flex. Uh, what you could do is just connect it from here and check it again, and then you'd know whether it was on the flex or this. But we're pretty sure it's on the flex because it's contact is not in or anything so we're looking down there so a little brick built pit oh, I think we're taking covers off got the electrical box disconnected and turned around so we can actually see into it um, and I've done a little sketch of a relay where the wires come in. So I'm going to have to take them off um, to test them individually. Always do a little drawing, otherwise you'll be stuck. Trying to remember where they come from. We've got blues from lives, backs from lives blues on neutrals as well so you wouldn't know which blue went where on them. Right, that's earthed on there. Um, we'll check it. Check it to earth. Yep, so we know it's not good earth. That's all our neutral incoming. That's fine. That's all our live incoming. That's fine. So we know our cable's okay, the supply cable's okay. So that could have a cut in it or something. Mouse tube for it. Anything. Right. 0 0.02. Well that is a fan motor neutral. Fan motor alive, so so the fan motor is short now. That right, could be in here, so we'll take that off. We'll check total wires off of there as well. Whole thing's been covered in water. Uh, that's our live onto the unit. It's a bit better, but it's not good. Right, so we've definitely got a problem with the fan motor. Or another problem on the unit somewhere, so... We'll take a few more things off. That's on the um, HP switch cable. Other end's disconnected. 
from the tail light, that is on the fan motor. That's the wrong blue wire, and that is on the HP connection. So that is okay. And then we've got that lead on the test lead on the blue wire from the run cap. It's not got an actual earth connection itself, so we'll just put the other lead on the case. Super nine giga ohms, so that's saying that is okay. And we'll try it on the other lead. Just to be sure. Just testing the lead. Luckily, that's sparking. That's just on the case, so we know even the case is earthy out in the damp water, so that's okay. <coughs> so, run cap's okay. Uh, So, so far we've got a dust fan motor. Let's test some of those leads in here. That's not that good, is it? Alright, we'll take some more wires off. Alright, we've got all the, pulled all the wires off, given up trying to avoid doing that. Um, that's the compressor wire, one of them. Now, normally you'd test all three of them, but I've just done that anyway, so I'm not going to duplicate that. That is start cap. So, there we go, that's sorted out. Let's try this little relay. I think that'll be alright. We might take it apart and have a look. Just mm. saying that, that is a bit. That's a bit earthy for something that's still got no connections to it, so I think we'll have a look in there. So we, that's tough. That's, that's tough. Uh, I think this is probably too bad. But then these things, they're sealed, you know, you can't get into them. But in that, under there, that's like silicon. If you dig that out with a screwdriver, you can undo them. I'll, I'll do that now. Well, there we are, that's that. Dug all the stuff out. It's a Phillips screw, but a lot of them are slotted. The slotted ones are easier. Yeah. Full of water. Unless you see the water on there, I think it's, I think it's gone rusty. It's actually got running water on it, but. The water's come off the end. Um, so that's that's had it. Relays have it. Uh, so we'll have a fan motor now. The state of that box, if that's run cap, had it. Um, I'll check, although that's not shorting out the start cap, uh, the start cap had it. The run cap, I'll check the capacitance on that. If, if that's faulty as well, it might be a better, cheaper option just to buy a whole new box with a relay and the caps with it, rather than trying to make that all work. If we've got to go and get a fan motor as well, we'll, we'll do that. 
Right, got the wires off the cap, one cap for the fan motor. And um, that's the other wires there, floating in the air, so let's try again. That's still showing shortage. Cap is showing all right. Both terminals. So and that is just on the wires to the capacitor now, so it's in the motor. So let's have it. There's a new motor, new cap, new relay. The other one's a 25. I couldn't read it. It's all corroded, but I've cleaned it up with some Scotch Bright. And I can make the numbers out there. It's 25 microfarads. Have a check that. It's probably cheaper to buy a whole set than it is to buy the individual bits. You get a new box and everything. Pre wired. Eighteen point eight. It's a twenty-five cap, um, ten percent plus or minus ten percent. <coughs> so twenty-two point five or twenty-seven point five would be fine, but that's quite a bit We're under there. So if what I'd want to change if I was buying parts, I'd probably I'd want to change that. Even if I was just servicing it, I'd probably change it. So. New start cap, new run cap, new relay, you might as well buy a new box. Um, so Labouring, probably swapping that box over, swapping the new parts in there, you get a new box with your tails on it, um, New box, new fan motor then, by the look of it. Can't really read the label on there, where it's Actually, it looks better on the camera um, than by eye. <coughs> well, it's rusty, but a little trick I've learned: <coughs> get a bit of paper, hold it over there, and uh, rub over it with a pencil. It looks like it's a CAH. So like four, five, one, eight A. So we can look that. Look it up in the book and see if that's an actual number or we can guess what it is from there. Uh, see if we can get one of these and see if we've got a fan motor in stock. Right, it's probably give it a go. See if it'll run without the fan motor on there. Just uh, didn't do anything, did it? Let's uh, oh, just try again. Oh, that's seven minutes. Oh, she runs.
engine will run it up or get the deep bits and then find the compressor didn't run. Just run for half an hour or so after it had a soaking. Um, so I, I got to thinking maybe if it had shorted out that relay it could have brought the start winding or the, not the start cap in the circuit or something. Um, and that could have cooked the start winding. Uh, but it's uh, run for a minute, so it's about as much as I want to run it without a fan on there. Without a relay, I'll just put two, put another 30 on the um, across the start winding, so it's got about 50 microfarads on there. So we know it runs. Get some new bits now. 